Good morning, my cookie crumbs, and welcome back to your regularly scheduled episodes. Let's jump into it. Just so you know, this book is coming to an end. I think one more chapter and then this book is done. More details at the end of the video. Let's just get into it. The USJ was one of the worst days of their lives and the scariest. Not one student imagined that they would go through this horror this early. Villains had infiltrated the training grounds, and the next thing they knew, they had all become targets. Isuku watched as his teacher was beaten before he jumped in to save him. He used all of his magic, and then some, to defeat the Nomu. And once he did, he turned around and hissed at All Might who was late, and blamed All Might for this. Where were you, he hissed. Where the hell were you? Y young Midori, huh? I, I, I... Midoriya just huffed. And the next thing he knew, he blacked out. He woke up in his room, back home, and not at the hospital. His sister and grandma got him released back into their care, stating that the doctors wouldn't know how to handle his quirk. So the doctors, believing it, released him back to their care, as long as they promised that they knew what they were doing. They swore up and down that they did, and they would take good care of Izuku. Izuku had a really high fever. They were trying so hard to break. It had been a few days since they brought him home, and yet he just couldn't shake this fever. He used way too much magic and way too much energy to destroy that monster. The exhaustion was also clear on poor Izuku's face. Not once did he wake up when they transferred him home. Not once did he wake up when he got transported to the hospital initially. Denki and Hitoshi were frequent visitors, hoping that their pal, their buddy, their brother would soon wake up. They sat with him every day and spoke to him, hoping that their voices, their words would bring him around. Their sister and his grandmother had hoped the same thing. That perhaps having familiar voices as well as theirs would bring Izuku around and help break that fever. Thus far, nothing. Izuku slept on and suffered. Denki asked one day, what if Izuku had too much magic built up? What if he needed another release? His sister facepalmed. She suffered with the same problem when she first started learning how to use shadow magic. She used a ton and the next thing she knew she was down and out with a fever. But the problem was was that it built up more magic than anything. She had to go outside and release a lot of it. And when she did, her fever broke. And she felt instantly better. Why didn't I think of it? I suffered through the same thing, damn it! She scooped Izuku up and took him outside. After an hour of trying, they got him to wake up. Finally, they stood Izuku up and told him that he had to release his magic. 
It was the only way for him to get better. Hisuku, groggy and exhausted, still did what he was told. Little by little, he released his magic. After a little while, he got a lot better. His fever started breaking and he started releasing more and more of the magic that had built up. Soon, Izuku was the picture of health. His pale face gained its color back, so his cute little freckles stood out. His green eyes were bright and full of that life that he held. He was back to being his old bouncy self. He was still a bit exhausted, but that was to be expected. We're so glad you're all right now, Zoo. Yeah, dude, we missed you so much. I missed you guys too. Golly, I can't believe it. Wait, how long has it been? How long have I been? About two weeks. Wait, I've been suffering with a fever for two weeks? The fever didn't start out right. His sister said. It was gradual. But then it got worse and worse as the last few days went on. I see. Man. Are you and Grandma okay? We're fine, sweetheart. Absolutely fine. Don't worry about us. Now come inside and get some more rest. You're still exhausted. When can I go back to school? As soon as you look like you can stand on your own two feet. I can... Okay, I guess I can't, Izuku said as he wobbled. He and the rest of the gang hobbled inside and the two joined the rest for dinner. Denki and Itoshi had brought Izuku a lot of his homework and they were doing it together. This way Izuku could get caught up to where they were right now. Once Izuku got caught up, they had a small little study session. By the way, how's Aizawa Sensei? Oh, he's fine. He's tried to escape the hospital a few times, but his husband has him on lockdown. Oh? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want Aizawa Sensei to hurt himself further. Neither would we. He got badly hurt. Oh yeah? It's kind of bad, dude. Like, they say the doctors told him that he can't use his quirk for almost a month, and if he tried, he could damage his eyes permanently. Yeah, and he wouldn't be able to use his quirk. Oh, man. Hence why his husband has him on a pretty tight lockdown. Oh, yeah. Like, we're talking massive lockdown, dude. Massive lockdown. Wait, for real? A massive lockdown? So, Aizawa Sensei can't do anything. Nope. Not a thing. Poor Aizawa, he has to be so restless. And driving his husband up a wall. <clears throat> the group fell into a silence, and suddenly Izuku said, How much you want to bet that Hisashi Sensei, or Yamada Sensei, I mean, lucky guess on the first name. How much you want to guess that Yamada Sensei is his husband? Wait. Really? You think Yamada Sensei, as in present Mike, presentation Michael, the loudest hero ever, is Aizawa Sensei's husband? There's no way! The poor guy would get a divorce forest within the first two hours. Hatoshi said. Wait, seriously? Dude, you think Aizawa Sensei can handle his loud mouth? 
Like, we can barely stand it. Actually, I kind of like Yamada-sensei when he talks, Denki said. It's very interesting. Yes, yeah, same, and his radio show is amazing. All good points, but I wish he would just quiet down a little at school. Well, true. I mean, a lot of his students do have heightened hearing, and their poor ears must be bleeding. Guys, it's not really his fault. I mean... Well, he is an adult. Shouldn't he have better control of his quirk? Well, true, but what if those speakers don't really do him any justice? What do you mean? Yeah, what if those speakers kind of throw him off? You know? Hey, yeah, that would make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, it actually would. Like, man. You see, Yamada Sensei is great and all, but what if those speakers just kind of throw him off balance? How about you make a suggestion? Yeah, to his hero costume. He said once on his current radio show while you were at down and out that he was looking for suggestions for, you know, a costume change. He said after so many years, it was time for a change, and heroes do tend to change their costumes throughout the years. Especially... Him. Him? He means All Might. We're not speaking of his name whatsoever, though. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, the dude was... Really tardy to the party? Yeah, no shit, dude. Oh, would you look at that? Doing homework distracted. Hey, yeah, do you think we got all the answers right? Here, let me check. Yep, it's all correct. Hold on, let's get my sister to check. She's really good at this stuff. His sister checked out their homework and said that they got it all correct. Alright, you guys. Shouldn't you two be getting home now? It is getting pretty late. Yeah, we'll see you later, Izuku. Yeah, see you later, bud. Feel better, okay? We want to see you back at school. Yeah, thanks, guys. And thanks for bringing me my homework. No prob. Just get better already. Yeah, we want our dude back. Okay, okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, see you later. Sis? Uh-huh. I want to get better at my shadow magic. Can we do something more with my training or whatever? Hmm, I'll see what I can figure out for you. As far as anything. But you know, you are improving at a great rate. Why rush? Izuku, I know what you're thinking and it wasn't your fault. But if I had just been... Izuku, it wasn't your fault. Believe it. Izuku just nodded and went to bed. He stared at his ceiling for a little while before he closed his eyes. I will get better at my magic. And then I'll be able to protect them. I promise I'll get better. He had that on his mind as he drifted off to sleep. And this time, he drifted off into a dreamless sleep. No more fever dreams or nightmares that caused him any more stress. Aw, uh, so yeah, I went through the USJ, just... I, uh... I'm getting bored with this book, to be perfectly honest with you guys. So that's why there's only one more chapter before we get it done, and then it'll be a while before book two comes out. That and I kind of want to rewrite this one or redo this one. I'm not quite happy with it, but to those who are fans of this original one, I'll keep this up for you guys, but I might redo this one. I, I'm not sure yet. I don't know yet. It, it'll depend. 
All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.